go all in. The opponent goes into the tank. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Priestley, aka Poker Priest. Man, I make one little comment about making less frequent vlogs and you guys just freak out on me. I was lying. Why the hey! lying? Why? Why you always lying? I was just kidding, you know? I was trying to do the whole under promise over deliver thing, so I was lying, gonna be more vlogs. So here's one right now. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but 9.30 p.m., I'm a little tired. I uh, currently, my girlfriend's in class. She's, like, as you guys know, she's living in Connecticut. I'm living in Vegas. And she's going for her RN right now. Um, she's taking an economics class, so it's not really in her wheelhouse. So I'm tutoring her in that right now. And I spent most of the day doing that. Kind of tired, but 9.30, gotta play. Let's go play, where are you? finished up an hour and 45 minute session here at the Aria and we booked our eighth consecutive win in a row granted it was rather small I'll show you guys what it was at the end of uh, these handwriters the session started off to a rather rocky start with a couple of bad plays that I made put this drink down. we in our second hand that we sat down at the table we got dealt pocket kings and uh, I'm still getting settled down at the table and I raised to $10 by accident, not realizing, oh crap, I'm at a 1-3 game and I would never open to $10. 1-2 um, game, yes, I'd open to $10. But I open to 10, I get one call, everyone else folds, and we are heads up to a flop of 9-4-9, rainbow. I think it's pretty reasonable to put a C bet in here. I bet $15 and the woman raises to $35. Mm, borderline here, I I think I'm okay with another call. She could have like an overpair to the board too. Maybe tens, jacks, queens, anything like that. And I don't know, we'll see what develops on the turn. The turn comes, it's a five of diamonds. Brings in two diamonds. And uh, I decide to check. The woman also checks behind, kind of strange. The river brings a two of diamonds, which brings in the backdoor flush. Um, and it, I found it rather strange that she checked. So I decide to try to go for some thin value with pocket kings here. I put in a bet of $40, and she raises to $125. Ah, I'm like, crap, Priestly, why did you do that? You should have just went into check call mode. But, I don't know, I, I wanted to go for thin value, and she raised, and I don't think she's bluffing here. I think it's pocket fives, I don't know. But I end up making the fold. I don't know if it was a good fold or not. But we start off in the hole. We, we, have, we have to re-up another $100, and uh, we're stuck. So I was looking around the room. My table was kind of slow. Uh, didn't look like I was going to get much action. Looked like a bunch of players that would not put any chips in the middle unless they had good hands. I mean, could have been profitable, but I decided to change tables. So uh, here we are at the new table with position. Ace three of diamonds. The undergun player raises to $15. Folds to the middle position guy who goes all in for $25. Folds to me and... I know that the original Razor can't 4-bet all in, and hopefully the blinds don't, you know, cold 4-bet here. So I elect to call $25 with position with Ace-3 of diamonds to see a flop. 
folds around back to the original razor and he just puts in the $10 call. I don't even think he was trying to raise. I don't even think that he knew that he couldn't raise. I think he was more of a recreational player. So, we're three ways to a flop. One guy's all in. So we're essentially heads up, I guess. Flop is Jack, Queen, Jack with two diamonds. First guy checks. And I think this is a good flop to just check back, realize our equity. The board is paired. So uh, what do I do? I put in a bet. I bet $25. And the, uh, the under the gun player min raises to 50. I'm like, well, three jacks, I have outs, hopefully for a diamond. So I just make the call, see a turn. The turn is the nine of hearts, which brings two diamonds, two hearts on board, and under the gun just jams all in. Like 175 effective, and I'm like, uh, bold? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna call him, it's just a draw here. He's got me beat already, and he flips over pocket queens. He has a freaking full house. The other guy had 10 jacks for three jacks, and um, what kind of play was that? He could have got a, the river came, and it was two of diamonds. I would have rivered the nut flush, probably would have paid him off if I saw a river. So what kind of play was just jamming all in, open jamming, turn there with the boat. Anyways, um, misplayed that hand, saved money on that hand, and on to next hand. In this final hand here at the Aria, we open six, seven hearts in early position to $13. We get called in four different spots. So we're five ways to a flop. Flop comes ace, deuce, eight. One heart, two diamonds, not the best flop for us. We didn't flop the gosh darn thing. Backdoor possibilities, maybe. Uh, all the players check. It's me, I check. And late position bets 20. Everybody folds. I'm the last person to act. If I call, we're heads up to a turn. I decide on a call. I call 20. Turn is the five of hearts. Gives us flush draw gives us up and down draw. Seems like a, that is the best turn card that we could vote for with calling $20 on that flop. And, you know, I had plans on the flop to try to outplay this player depending on what turns come. And I stick with the plan. I check it with a whole bunch of equity. He bets out 50, comes to me, and my plan, check raise all in. I'm gonna do this with sets of aces and other good hands as well. So we go all in, the opponent goes into the tank, makes the fold. And we're unstuck, we're up a little bit. Uh, play a couple more hands and we uh, do not win any more hands after that. And uh, the game's here at Aria are not that great. Uh, I'm looking at the Bravo. I think I'm gonna head over to the Mandalay Bay right now. And we booked a win. That's the important part. We booked the win eight in a row of a grand total of $1. Yeah guys, so in for 400, out for 401. I mean, it's, it's kind of a good feeling, like I got on stock. But what sucks is that I won most of the money off of this really cool vlog watcher from Ontario. Like, it's part of the game. Like, you're gonna play pots against people that you like. And unfortunately, you're gonna win or lose money against people that you like or even friends if you're playing at the same table with friends. So, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna go head off to Mandalay Bay. Uh, hopefully things go a little bit better there. And play some one to no limit. You guys want to hear what the Jeep sounds like when it turns in this garage? It sounds like I'm like speeding through here, but listen to this. I'm going like eight miles an hour. This is like the third day in a row that it has rained in Vegas. What is going on? What is this? What is the stuff that falls from the sky? Oh, I forgot 
somebody commented that I make too many fast camera movements and they get sick off the video, so I'm gonna be more weary of that. Moving the camera slowly. a.m. Shut down the Mandalay Bay. They closed at four o'clock, but we had enough people where they let us keep playing until uh, just now. We just stopped the game. We were three-handed, and session was a no-burger, guys. We could not get anything going at all. Basically, tried to bluff a lot of hands, and they always had it. And then when I made hands, they had better. Also, I didn't make very many hands. So, a bunch of run bad, a bunch of play bad. And uh, the skill set of the players at the table was subpar. We just needed to run a lot better. Like, 10 seat limped his entire range, no matter what hand he had. Limped jacks, ace king, ace queen, queens, just limped. Um, there was a hand where another player, he was on the big blind and everybody limps to him and he just flats with aces. Uh, kind of tired. I didn't really write down a lot of hands that happened. Too frustrated with everything that was happening and losing all these hands like flop two pair from the big blind and board just goes four diamonds to a flush. Runner, runner, diamond, diamond. And the player just shoves all in and I just fold and then other hands I you know suited connectors I make my straight on the river but they river flush so there's a whole lot of hands that just did not work out for me. Um, my first loss in nine sessions. Yeah, I'm gonna count that REO session as a, as a win, at one dollar is, is a win. So yeah, we were we, we were running pretty pretty plus EV. We were bound to have a down session, so we'll just take that down session. We're gonna play again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll call it. The music is way too loud outside of the Jeep, so here we are in the Jeep. The session I was in the game, what I recorded down on my phone as being in for 900 with all my re-ups or buy-ins and ended up cashing out 260. So we're down 640. But I counted the bills that I have and I'm missing a $100 bill so I don't, I don't know if I missed one or not. Um, so I'm either down 640 or 740. That sucks. It sucks being down a hundred dollar bill that you didn't know you were down or in a buy-in for. Anyways, yo guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.